Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is shame and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of John chapter 4 verses 28 and 29. The woman left her water jar beside the well and ran back to the village telling everyone, come and see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could he possibly be the Messiah? Today God wants to deal with shame in the life of someone listening. John chapter 4 tells us about a woman who was accustomed to and lived with shame in a society where sexual chastity and marital fidelity were highly revered. She had successfully walked out of five marriages and was now living with a living lover. She knew people judged her. She was mocked, judged, sneered at, avoided, gossiped about. And while she put up an exterior facade of not caring, deep down she was gripped by shame. It was shame that made her go to the well at the most unusual time of the day. She went at noon. At noon, no one should have been at that well because the heat would have been unbearable. But this woman chose the scourge of the heat over the scourge of the tongue because she could no longer bear the shame people had caused her to feel. On the day John chapter 4 is set, she went again to the well with her head bowed and with secret delight that no one would be out at that time. She rushed to the well. Imagine her shock and dismay when she met a man there. What on earth was he doing there at this time of the day? Things got worse in her mind. This strange misplaced man now even wanted to talk to her. She felt the shame rising again. All she wanted to do was get her water and retreat. But this man would not let her. Long story short, at the end of the encounter with this man, who by the way was Jesus, the Bible tells us that the same woman who hid from the villagers to come to the well, ran back to the village telling everyone about him. What had changed? An encounter with Jesus had dealt with her shame. When the Lord put this episode in my heart, he said, I want to deal with shame in the lives of my children. I speak to you who may have been caught in fornication, adultery, or any kind of illicit affair. I want to speak to you who has been gossiped about and spoken about derogatorily. I want to speak with you who has to hide from people because of the shame you carry. Some people are carrying shame that they should not even carry. Shame over the behavior of your child. Shame because you have no child. Shame because you think you should be married and are not. Shame over failed relationships. Shame over failed academic pursuits. Shame over things that have happened that no one knows about. Jesus wants to deal with that shame forever. He wants to take them off you. He wants you to have an encounter with him that will cause you to forget your shame. He is saying, lay that thing bare before me this morning and I will deal with it. My dear listener, Jesus loves you so much. Just as he went to the well that afternoon because he knew that woman would be there. He is here this morning because he knows you are listening. And he's saying to you, as you spend the next few minutes in prayer, laying everything that causes you shame bare before me, I will change your story and cause you to run and share the good news with others. Your shame is over today in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for your word this morning. I pray for everyone living in shame that they may be free in the name of Jesus. That by reason of their listening in today, they will have an encounter that will bring an end to shame once and for all. Take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.